The warm weather that melted the snow didn't last long, and new storms came. This is the time when many people are planting their gardens and enjoying spring. After standing in the cold water during the flood, I got sick for over a month. One morning, I woke up at 2 a.m. to see my breath rising above me. Our heat had failed. I covered all the children with extra blankets, then tried to troubleshoot the furnace. Our space heater saved us during this negative 30 temperature. The next day, I asked the kids if they wanted to call it and leave the church to head back to the place in Noonan. They all wanted to stay. This really has become our home now, and not just an adventure. So we buttoned up the church, sealing everything off, and we piled into the toasty warm tent we had set up in the sanctuary. One of my kids said it felt like preparing for the zombie apocalypse. We had to get everything ready before the sun set and the temperatures dropped. One of the things about remote homesteading is that when you have a problem, it can take a while before help gets to you. It just happened that the repairman was only 45 minutes away helping another homesteader, so we didn't have to go without our furnace for very long. What do you think, Tristan? We're six degrees right now. So that's what it is in our church. We were warm last night, though, inside of our, tr inside of our tent. So, you guys can see I have a lot of problems. Some wood framing here. And it's not even even in the back here. Supposedly right there. Do you see that right there? That is the outside. That's, outside. That's winter out there. Oh boy. Looks like we got more winter up there too. Right here on the ground. Do you see that? It's like a rectangle on the floor. It's not like that anywhere else. So my guess, one of two things. This is either a trap door, which would be totally cool, or it's where the altar was at. With our heat back on, it was time to start on the library. here is one of the many reasons why I hate carpets. Gross.
I specifically engineered these shelves to be solid. With extra built-in safety bracers and brackets, there's not even a wobble.